talk about travel stories. Oh my gosh, look at me. I'm in Nepal, walking down the street all by myself and I'm feeling really confident. And 5,000 mosquitoes. And I'm not exaggerating. Look, they just beheaded a chicken and I'm okay with it. The TV show said don't pick up hitchhikers and here we are hitchhiking and we're picking up a hitchhiker. It was so empowering. There's so many mosquitoes that the entire ceiling is covered in black. Our ceiling is black now. And this old woman comes up to me. She had <laughs> raised her arm and she just hauled off and she hit me. I mean, she hit the heck out of me. Traveling internationally through a study abroad program, it really shaped um, the path of my life, really. It changed um, what I want to do with when I grow up. I love going back to China because I feel complete every time I go back. Oh my gosh, I don't belong here. I was never afraid. I mean, I had my friends who were wimps. Who wouldn't want to rent an apartment from a charming Italian man? Make sure everything is organized. There was no air conditioning. It's trauma if you can't find your keys. There was no television. There was no Wi-Fi. If you can't find your billfold. There was no um, working refrigerator. If you can't find your passport. I was convinced that I was not the only person who was in this apartment. There's a part of me where I feel very connected, reconnected to my homeland. <laughs> Ricardo, thank you very much for my haunted apartment in Florence. <laughs> that was the worst part of the whole trip. It was this horribly disgusting bathroom. And on the way, we picked up this kid who had a guitar and the name Bob Zimmerman on the case. You know, I put two and two together. I said, well, that's got to be him. I'm sorry, you picked up Bob Dylan? Yeah, that's his name is. His, I just wanted his to make name sure is we were Bob talking. Zimmerman, or just something to make sure like we were that. Talking about the same guy. Yeah. And he said, "That is an amazing story. That's so awesome. Come on up and tell my friends, and we'll have a beer." And then we're like, <laughs> where, "Where are we?" He was mad at me because I didn't take him with me. And then suddenly, she starts massaging my boobs like this. This is a nightmare. We're gonna wake up covered in mosquito bites. That was a hell of a way to wake up in the middle of the night. What? I couldn't believe it was happening to me. And then I thought, dang that, Carrie. Was he cute? He was good looking. Ow, I can't do it because you're laughing on the floor. <laughs> and those are just the little moments that you just kind of stick with you when you're traveling. And especially when you travel internationally, because you're in such a different environment. It's pretty fabulous, so you should try it.